Got a nice and easy one for you guys coming out of the bye nice week, right? Nice and easy one. Uh, national champs, the reigning national champs. So look forward to it. Great opportunity for our guys and for, for our program. How difficult. A lot of times you're preparing for the best player or a couple best players, but Clemson kind of has talent everywhere on that offense. How difficult does that make preparations for a defense? Um, um, they're, they're very talented, as, as we all know, and they do a good job of coaching those guys up over there. But I feel like we have some talent over here as well. And uh, you asked the question how difficult it is to prepare for. Uh, we feel like we're you know we going to match up pretty well against the guys, and we're going to go out and play. Another great opportunity, again, for our guys. To, this is why they come to Florida State games like this you know you come to Florida State play games like this and uh, and really looking forward to the opportunity does it create a lot of one-on-one -on -one battles that have to be one where it's kind of mono -on mono there's not a whole lot of help coming your way in some situations it can be and in others others you know you try to take away one thing and maybe you know make a harder battle for someone else but you, you know it's, it's a give and take in every game that you play and trying to figure out you know what you need to do to to uh, stop them or slow them down from what they like to do what makes Trevor Lawrence unique um, he has a great understanding of the offense. He has a great arm strength. He's get quick release, and uh, and he can move. The guy has moved. He's long, and he can and he, and he can move, and uh, uh, has trust in his in his uh, the players around him, uh, be it his running backs or receivers or whatever it may be, his offensive line. So uh, that's what makes him a, a really good football player. Uh, Coach Tagger talked about one of the keys being you know limiting their explosive plays. Uh, as or defensively, what do you feel like the key is to limiting those plays? Well, you know, you can't say too much. You know, they was listen to all this stuff. Uh, come on. Uh, uh, in, in general, in general, the keys are, I'll give a general answer. Uh, we got to cover well and we got to tackle well, and that's what we have to do. Clemson. Coach, the tackling does seem like it's been better in recent weeks. Like, do you, I guess, agree first off? And, and if so, what are you guys particularly doing better to get guys on the ground? It, it's been better, and we, we've changed up some things uh, tackling drill-wise, you know, trying to help our guys out to get them better. Um, we always talk about your drills should show up in the game. So we're trying to do, change some drills up that, that we've done and been doing the last several weeks to help our guys improve in, in space tackling. You would, you would assume after the last couple of weeks defensively that the confidence would be higher. Are you seeing that? Are you, can you sense that guys? Yeah, I can, I, I can sense our guys uh, feeling good about themselves and, and we're, we're playing uh, pretty well. We still haven't reached where we were trying to get to yet. And uh, so they just keep working hard, coming out, uh, listening, taking the coaching, and, and just trying to improve each and every, each and every day. When you first got here, you set a point of emphasis as you wanted all 11 guys running to the ball. It seems like that was the case, especially against NC State. Is that showing up in film? That more it's starting to come more. Starting to come more. We still expect even more, to be honest with you. And uh, and you know we got we got to play hard all the time on defense. Uh, no excuses. We got enough guys to replace guys and, and get other guys in if if guys are getting tired or what have you. So we need to continue to do that. That's a, that's a, one of the staples of any defense: running to the ball. Have you found the rhythm that you guys like for substitutions? I know that was something early on that you were adjusting to. Has that been better? Yes, I think it has been better. Um, uh, guys understand w what their role is, um, how many we, you know, trying to keep a play count on guys so we're not wearing guys out, uh, not only just defense, but special teams as well. So it has been better, yes. With uh, Robinson unavailable for the first half, has Derek McClendon kind of stepped up into trying to provide more depth at that role? He has stepped up trying to, like like you just said, trying to provide more depth at that role. We have multiple guys uh, that are they're going to get an opportunity. There's that word again, a uh, big opportunity for guys to be, you know, be able to show what they can do. A lot of times guys uh, sit around and say they want to play and all that. So when the opportunity comes, you better show up and be ready to do what you got to do. And I'm not saying that's him, but it is an opportunity for him to kind of show what he can do. And he did get in a little bit the last game and, and did a good job for us. I think like Lawrence has surpassed his interception total for last year. Is it something that other teams are scouting him better just a year or two? Or is uh, you, you think there's something that he has scrambled up looking at? Um, you know, I hope they hope it keeps going up. Actually, this week, to be honest with you, I can't I can't say why. I think it, it happens. He's a good football player, so um, his interceptions may go up if, if he's throwing it around a lot. Sometimes it's not always the quarterback that, that causes those interceptions as well. So um, you got to look at the whole picture and, and get an understanding of why they're happening. But uh, he's a good football player. So that level of confidence, guys, are asking you about earlier. I mean. Does the team embrace this challenge? Or, I mean, do, you, do you think they're they're up to it? Oh yeah, oh absolutely. <laughs> like again, this is why you come to a Florida State uh, to play in games like this. Uh, you know, a lot of these guys grew up watching Florida State and 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 seeing all the big games that Florida State has played in over the years. And again, this is why you come come to a place like this.
Coach, is there a difference with what Clemson's doing with Trevor Lawrence this year compared to last year with him being a year older? And what are your impressions with him from watching the film you've watched this year? They're doing a lot of the same things. Um, he may be running a little, little bit more, and everybody can see that. I think that's obvious. Um, but other than that, he's doing a lot of the same things that he did last year and just trying to prove, and approve upon them, and he has. He's doing a really good job for him. Coach, what makes T. Higgins so unique in such a difficult matchup? So long. He's a long guy, has great ball skills, um, and, and, and uh, Trevor doesn't mind just throwing it up to him because he has that much trust and faith in him. So uh, that, that's, that's the challenge. He's long, he's fast, and he has great ball skills. Typically, when, when there is a guy like that, what do you tell some of the smaller cornerbacks who maybe aren't you know, six foot or plus to how, how you can, I guess, negate that size difference? Play with great technique. Play with great technique and, and do the things that you've been coached throughout the course of the week. With the run defense obviously has improved but recently. It'll be tested this week with Travis Etienne. Just what stands out about him from film? Fast, man. He's fast and he keeps his feet moving. Uh, good back, you know, been playing for him for now three years. He understands the system. He, he stays tight to his blockers. And uh, he's, a, he's a really good running back, good player. In this game, what will it mean for you guys if, if you're able to, to stop the run again? Oh, I mean, a lot. I mean, that's, that's number one in, in everything that you do on defense. Uh, high school, college, pro, you got to stop the run on defense. That's number one. Most times, I'm, I don't know what the percentage is. Maybe you, one of you guys know. But I bet it's in the high 80s to 90s. Most teams that you know stop the run versus, versus a team that you know outrushes another team, the team that has the most yards rushing a lot of times win the football game. And that's just that's just football over the years. So you got to be able to stop the run. So it would be huge to be able to stop the run this week. Coach, what kind of uh, challenges is them being balanced on offense? You know, they're very talented, obviously. and They're about as balanced a team as you guys have played all year, run versus pass. What kind of challenges does that create for the defense? Oh, it's always a challenge, you know, uh, when you got a team that, that's that balanced and, and trying to do both. Um, but again, it still starts with up front with stopping the run. You still got to stop the run first, and then you build from there. And so that's, that'll be our focus. Crazily enough, I mean, with the way the season started, if you guys beat Clemson, I mean, you kind of are in the driver's seat in the division. Is that something that this team is talking about at all, that this is uh, the stakes of this game beyond just a, a simple win? Well, the start, of the start of the season and it started camp, you know, it was always the, the first goal is, one of the goals is to obviously win the first game and, and, uh, and then win the ACC. And that's, that's, that's a focus, that's a goal of ours. And so uh, we're going to just keep taking one game at a time and move forward in that direction. All right, thanks, guys. Yeah.